Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I have not been uploading any videos as I was mentioning before when I set up my YouTube channel. Um, we have not been feeling the best and uh, but anyways, I think we are out of the woods now. So today I want to make a few things here in my kitchen and I just thought, well, you know what, here's the opportunity to, to do that with you together. So um, I will share a little bit something with you about myself and, um, and then we'll go from there. So my name is Elizabeth and um, I'm um, new to this YouTube channel. I want to jur journal my change in my life. I have some changes to make for health reasons. And um, I have always been uh, kind of on the low side. I have never been really this healthy person that can eat whatever they want, do whatever they want and it won't bother them. So anyways, I sometimes go get out of my uh, organic or my healthy habits and slip into the old ways. And as when we grew up, we grew up quite poor and um, food did not have any value to us other than we're eating and then we're not hungry anymore. So it never, we were never taught this is good for you or this isn't good for you. And so I have, when I think back, now where I grew up, there were no doctors around that would actually diagnose and research and look for things that were wrong. They just tried to cover your pain if there was money to do so. And other than that, you just live. So I remember when I was about 18 no 20 when I was in my tw early 20s 2021 20, years of age I got very very sick I was really really sick and my parents have brought me to the hospital and um, we lived way out in the bush there was no hospital close by it was a hard time to get there but anyways um Long story short, I have always had stomach problems and I got married and I had children. And now um, for a number of years, I have known already that I have diverticulosis and there, there are times where they break out and then I really work on myself and then I get back on track again and I feel good and I feel like living and then bang, all of a sudden I get used to it or whatever and I see my family eating certain things and and they some don't even eat at all have no schedule and I'm very much like that too that I don't really have a schedule and so anyways I want to get back on track and I just thought because of that I want to take use along and maybe that will help me to be more responsible. So, and I don't want, I don't want to take you along to have an extra load, so to say, but I'm hoping that it will encourage somebody that is in the same, uh, English word, <laughs> in the same, boat the same lifestyle or the same problem maybe you have diverticulosis as well and right now i'm not dealing with that right now i'm i would say i'm pretty good but i have very strict orders from the doctor to get my iron level up my iron was three four weeks ago it was between six and seven and the doctor said he wants to see it at 30 and I'm not very young anymore. So it takes a lot for me to get up there and, and uh, my body doesn't absorb things like 
pills and stuff very good so anyways i want to do that with a diet as much as i can and so i want to take you along just in case there's somebody out there that deals with the same thing is low on iron or something maybe you can give me tips maybe you can give me leave a comment or something like that in the description box i will put some address or some um, recipes and so anyway today i want to make a salad dressing i took liver out i'm going to fry liver and that's going to be a different video because i don't want to have very long videos and so i'm just going to make this salad dressing but my lunch is fried liver and liver and onions and a salad and i want to make a homemade ladder a uh, homemade dressing now i have kind of made it my own but the recipe comes out of the trim healthy mama and so i'm gonna um put if I know how to put a link in the description box i'm going to put a um, link in the description box for her recipes and or for her books and so i know there's a lot of recipes out there but this is mine so let's get started so what i'm going to have i'm going to make um a ranch dressing so i use this yogurt this yogurt and i did not have homemade mayo i sometimes make my own mayo but i use we hardly ever buy the no name or the cheaper version we usually get this if we buy mayo so and then just black pepper and parsley flakes and pink himalayan salt and um and garlic cloves so i'm going to use and what i do what i we don't like a thick uh, uh, dressing so what i do is i put half and half cream in there not a lot just a little bit just to make it a little bit runny so anyways let's get started i will show you what i have here and then we'll go from there so i have this food processor and it has a little uh container and i really like this to make mayo or salad dressing or small like guacamole or something like that so i'm going to use that put it in here and i'm not going to have the video going when i'm going to make this put this on because it's very loud but i'm going to put the garlic in there i'm going to use three cloves we really like garlic and uh, so anyways, I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to blend this. And then once that is all blended up, then I'll be back. Okay, so that is all blended nicely. So you can tell there's little, take this off and show you. So it, we like these little pieces in there. So that's why I like to put the whole clove in there. And so I have one cup of mayo. And a cup, half a cup of yogurt. Now I fill my cups quite good. <laughs> um, I'm not very good with measuring things. Um, I use my eyes a lot to measure so sometimes it's good and sometimes it isn't but anyways I know what I'm doing in this recipe so so I think I'm all good so I have a half a teaspoon of black pepper and um, what I had to do my my grinder uh, broke down for my salt so I buy that salt like this and then i just used a coffee grinder and so my salt is really fine like it's kind of like a powder but anyways put that in there and then we'll put in parsley and that says one teaspoon so i'm just going to use this this is half a teaspoon so i'm just going to do this twice and then what i like to do is I like to put 
a quarter cup of half and half cream in there. That way it's a little bit runnier. As I said, we don't really like that heavy dressing. So anyways, I'll blend it and come back. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell this. It is, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Oh my word, look at this. Oh, I wish I could invite you for lunch. <laughs> it is so good. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Okay, so I, a long time ago, I bought these at a second hand for 10 cents each. And so I'm going to put it in here and see how that works. I have a funnel. Now that the funnel doesn't have a very big hole, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I guess we'll give it a try and we'll go from there. If it's just kind of like a fiddly thing um, that it will take a long time, then I might just put it in here and come back to you after I fill up my bottles, but we'll see how it works. Actually, it looks like it's going fairly good. But yeah, I'm going to put it in these bottles and then I'll be back once I have filled them up. Okay, so I got my salad dressing in my bottles and I'm going to make myself a salad here. I really like apples in my salad. So I'm going to mix this or cut it up and then we're going to make ourselves a nice salad for lunch and um, that's going to be so good. I did taste the salad dressing already and it is so, so good. There's little chunks of um, garlic in there, which I really like. Garlic is a very good thing for me. I enjoy garlic so much. Sometimes my family says, oh mom, you're putting too much garlic in. <laughs> but anyways, for me, I can hardly put in too much. So, and, and I don't know all the things that it does or doesn't do. I'm not, um, a doctor or anything I'm just putting together what I have right now and I just know from past experience that I felt very good when I was taking care of my diet and um, yeah and that's just where I'm at again and um, it's not a very good feeling when the doctors aren't very happy with you so for me right now, I'm just really focusing on getting my iron levels up. And I do eat a lot of spinach. Well, I make smoothies and with spinach. I buy these big bags of spinach and then I make a lot of smoothies and stuff. But yeah, they wanted me to have a lot more beef in my diet, which I never really had. And so I do that. I really want to get that going to so I'm going to make this salad and I'm also going to fry some liver which will be a different video but for right now this is my salad oh it looks so good so so yeah we'll see how this works it smells so the salad dressing smells so good So that is my salad for lunch and um, look, oh, it's so good. It is so good. 
Oh my word. Mm-mm. 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 Right now, I see it can't get better than this. <laughs> but anyways, I want to enjoy this salad. And I hope you enjoy the video. Forgive me. Anyway, thank you. And if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Come back for more. Um, this channel is called to acre homestead and so i have a lot more coming if only i knew how to edit videos i would put in a lot more videos but i'm just starting so yeah thank you so much and may you have a blessed day